Hi, I'm Thomas Burt and welcome to My Family History. Today I'm going to be interviewing my mum because she knows all about it. How long have you been doing the family tree? For about 10 years now, Tom. And uh, why did you start your family tree? I suddenly got to thinking it'd be nice um, to know actually where I came from and what part yeah. of the country, you know, went back to or whatever. So it's just I know it sounds awful, but I think after I lost my dad and his sisters, I suddenly thought, well, I wish I'd asked them when they were around what, you know, more about their, their parents. And I yeah. did know my granny, but I didn't know my granddad. But um, I thought, well, it's, I should really start. And, you know, because it would not be nice for you to know where actually you came from, yeah. you know what I mean. What's the most interesting fact that you found? Uh, I did find that on my granny's side, went right back to King John of Scotland. Ah, oh, that's so interesting. A bit of royal blood. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. You know, yeah, yeah, but it, it is very, very interesting to find out what occupations some of the ancestors had, and most of my dad's side were agricultural labourers. Yeah. Nothing really exciting, but... Okay. If there was anything, anything at all, that you'd like to find out, what would it be? Well, well my great-grandfather, George Palmer, he had a brother called Fred. Okay. Who um, was killed in the ice factory, which was on the Boston Dock. Um, he died in uh, 1896, and he, was he got trapped in the machinery while he was Ooh. cleaning it. And uh, he left behind a wife and a child. So I'd really like to find out who he did marry. You know, if we could. Yeah. It'd be really interesting. Well, let's see if we can find out then. Okay then, thank you. This is Fred Palmer, and this I've just found his marriage to Anne Louisa Earl. Um, Anne Louisa Earl, uh, I recognise that name, Tom. So I'll save this marriage to him. There we go, she's added. Fred Palmer was born in 1872 in Skirbeck, Lincolnshire, and in the 18th century, uh, Boston, and that area was called Skirbeck. His father, George, was 42 and his mother, Mary, was 39. He married Anne Louisa Earle in 1895 in Lincolnshire. They had one child during their marriage. He died in 1896 in Boston at the age of 24. This is the map. And it shows on here exactly where Fred lived in Skirbeck in Lincolnshire. And he would have lived down Church Road, or the houses were called Madison's Row. And that wouldn't have been far from the dock where he was working in the ice factory. So he wouldn't have had far to go. Uh, and he was also married in Lincolnshire, probably at St. Ernst, um, um, Skirbeck Church. I was thinking that's where he got married. And he's also buried there. And Louisa Earl. I'm sure I've heard of that name, Tom. I'm sure it's in this one. Uh, in her early 20s, she had been a dressmaker at W.J. Crow's in Boston Marketplace. Um, then she married Fred Palmer, who worked at the ice factory, and they rented a house in Bradshaw's Terrace. They had one child, a little girl, who was five years of age, in August 1901. But Fred was killed when he was caught in the belts that used to dry the shafts in the factory. Whether Anne received any compensation we do not know, but it seems likely she kept the house when and took in lodgers. William Favell was one of them. And it was reported that they lived together, cohabited was the term at the time, for three years until they got married in January 1901. Mm, that's interesting, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so what happened, I wonder? Yeah. Oh, oh dear. What? He shot Anne, his, a, what, his a husband shot her and murdered her oh, in no. a parent's shop. Oh, how awful. I have actually got a picture of Fred. Would you like to see it? Oh, I do. Oh, yes, I would, actually. Let's take a look. There he is. Oh, him there? Mm. Oh, OK. That's my great-grandfather, George. Okay. And their father and they're his brothers. Oh wow, that's interesting, that isn't him. it? Poor Fred. 
Yeah. <laughs> They've all got moustaches. Yeah, they have, yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's, it's amazing though, isn't it? Mm. When you've, you've yes. actually got a photo and, and you can say, yeah. oh, you know, it's brilliant, isn't yeah. it? You know, just, it's oh, Absolutely. so interesting. Mm. Well, well, I am really shocked about that. Um, and Louisa Earl, she was shot dead um, by her husband. That is, uh, that's, that's, re that's really sad. Um, I'm glad she was buried with Fred though. Um, you know, at least, at least they were kind of, you know, together again. Um, but yeah, sad, really sad. But um, it just shows you the kind of stuff that you can find if you, you know, if you dig deep into your family's past, you can find that some really shocking things. And I've, I found one there. 